<sighs> it's getting harder every day here on the ranch. First Hugo, then Bobby, <laughs> but most importantly, Flame. <laughs> well, Flame left a good legacy. Let's get on with it. Yee! <laughs> but before we do that, I have a quick request. This is just to help me out personally and you guys as well. I think this is gonna be really, really good. At the moment, we're running a community survey that you guys are filling out to rate every single DLC from The Sims 4. We did this last year and over 15,000 of you participated and we made a video out of it. Obviously it's been updated to include the packs from this year as well. So if you could help me out by clicking the link in the description down below and filling out the survey, it's gonna make a really good video, which I hope you guys are gonna enjoy as well. But let's get back to this video. Welcome back to Rags to ranches today i think i want to start off by doing a little rework of the farm i do want to set up that vineyard and i think we'll do it out the back because if we do it out the back that means we can see it from the main living space and it'll actually look really nice i think what we might do in that case is potentially i think it's time i really like the look of this the horse stable but we only have two horses so i think we're gonna reduce the number of horses we have down to two because we've only got the two left and essentially probably just get rid of this building. We're gonna merge the stables into the barn, rework the barn as well. I think I'll fully complete the upstairs, move Cecilia and Agnes both into this barn upstairs, and then downstairs will be for the horse. That's the plan, let's do it. All right, so first up, I'll move my death flowers and stuff. Is this, this undercover here, right? Yeah, good. I should probably make some more vitality in actor, actually. Right, let me move that stuff out of the way. Then the rest of this stuff, I'm just gonna add into my inventory because we'll probably replace some of this stuff back down again. Oh, I just, wait, what did I delete? Oh, there's like a glass on there. There's a glass of water. So it was selling it when I put my inventory. Okay. All right. So we can move all that. You just get rid of these doors. I think I just, let me just open this whole space up first and then I'm going to figure out what to do. I'm going to get rid of that ladder too. Because I think I'd like to do stairs potentially. Right, I'm going to get rid of this corner. So this, oh, <laughs> I turned it into a platform. Okay, hang on. Okay, there we go. All right. So essentially we're going to move our horse beds over. So we've got spinach. How much room do we have down here? Quite a lot. And blueies. So if they're on both sides of the wall, we have a tiny little sliver in the middle. Or we just put them side by side on one side of the barn and then have like the feeding and stuff on this side. And then actually at the back, we should be able to close that off still. Because I think what I would like to do, I'm going to get rid of these windows. As nice as they are. Also a bottle. Hey, there's potato nectar there. What the heck, Agnes? Why is that there? Let me put that down on the cellar. <laughs> so yeah, I'd like to maybe just do stairs at the back here instead. Let me just remove all this stuff. We need to kind of rework this space. So I'm just gonna close it off and open it up and etc. cetera. Gotta do the same window on that side as well at the front of the barn. Okay, so we've got this upstairs space and we're gonna get these stairs, I think here somewhere. Actually, even further back than that, why not? We'll just really squidge them in the corner. Take up as little space as possible. Then I'm gonna wall around this section. So this door I'm still gonna use as like, this is the access to the accommodation. And that's actually gonna be separate, I think, from our barn like this. Now, annoyingly, I guess I can't do a rail there, can I? Because I put a wall next to it. So let's put a half wall there. That's probably not tall enough. Maybe a little taller. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That, that's safe enough. That'll do. Nice and safe. So you come in here, the door slides that way. Then I figured we could probably have a door here to get into the barn or something, but we'll figure that out. Let me just do the layout stuff. Okay, I did a couple of little dormers up the top of the barn because that gives us access to have these two rooms have windows. So these are gonna be the bedrooms. So we're gonna have two bedrooms, one for Agnes, one for Cecilia, bathroom in the middle, and then I guess kitchen living. I guess, why don't we just make it like a little kitchenette and then we can have like their own individual sitting spaces in their room. So it's kind of like, Almost like a little hotel-esque room with a shared kitchen and shared bathroom set up. And actually on that note, why don't we use these doors that have like the little peephole and like a lock. Kind of hard to see because the wall's in the way, but anyway, we'll do those. Okay, I think I might delete this toilet. <laughs> I don't think we need that anyway. And you know what? I think I'm going to get rid of these too. Look, I'm not going to go super expensive because my ranch hands will fix the stuff anyway. So I did like a little separate toilet room and then a separate like washing up room. So this will have like the bath and stuff or the shower or whatever. We could do a bath, shower bath combo maybe. Maybe not a bath. Why, why would they be bathing? I mean, they could be. You know what? We'll give them the option. All right, so Agnes's room. Uh, hmm. Might move the bed over a little bit. I suppose it doesn't need to take up all that space because then I can put this over here. Actually, you know what? I'll do it the other way. There you go. That's nice. Like a little cross stitch corner. I mean, I imagine like a TV or something there. But I mean, Agnes might not want TV, so I'll leave it. And then Cecilia's, I guess I'll go grab her furniture because we'll get rid of this little little house. All right, well, I emptied out this house. I'm just gonna actually delete this whole building and delete that. And then the roof is still there. All right, so that building's gone. That frees up that space, which is good. All right, there we go. That's nice. Look at that, beautiful. Is this still assigned? Or oh yeah, that is still assigned, good. So those are the two bedrooms. And then we're gonna have a shared kitchen. 
Uh, dining area, I suppose. Not really sure what the interior walls are, so they're just all wood. Looks very, um, not that nice <laughs> with all the wood. But it is a barn, to be fair. You know, it's a barn. What, 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 what do you expect? You know what? I'll do some nice little tiling for the kitchen area. How about that? Oh, wait, why am I paying money? What the heck? I suppose I probably don't need this many counters. I guess I'll sell that one. Keep this little area. Maybe if you sit here, you can kind of see out the window, you know? A little bit of a view. It's not much, but it's something. Do a little bin here. There you go. The smoke alarm. Why not? This is a huge barn filled with uh, wood and flammable stuff. So we'll get that there. I mean, that's look, that's pretty good. The hallway is pretty dismal. <laughs> I suppose they could add dormers on this side, maybe, to match these ones. Maybe we just need to do some paint and change the color or something. They're just like the white, at least on this wall. Maybe we should do like some of this framed wall. Because I was kind of doing the internal walls differently on purpose, so maybe we could do that. And then have like these outer walls painted white. And then, oh, I could put this here. Can this fit below the window? Yeah, kind of. There you go, a little station there to put your stuff down or pick it up. Probably would be better actually to have it down here, but whatever, it's up here. Got a picture of a horse. In case you forgot why we're all here. <laughs> all right, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. This, this will do. This is all they need. Uh, oh, maybe a kitchen sink, which I think I did actually have one. Uh, here we go. Right, kitchen sink. I've got some more stuff in here, but we'll sort that out later. That's pretty good. Right, down in the actual barn area now. Let me get some... At least get some lighting in here. Right, well, we don't need these columns specifically, so I'm just gonna get rid of those. Now, I like the barn doors in the middle. Maybe... So we've got this spa space at the back. I mean, that could easily be one stable. Maybe we don't need them on the side there, because if I move them sort of more over this way, more around the back, it gives us a bit more space to work with. Like, can I... So if I want to have an entrance here, I could still do that. Like, I could make that whole section there a stable, have a little entrance there. We could have a door here that goes to that back section. And then maybe actually this one could just go next to that one. Because then these horses can hang, sort of hang out together. And then I can have extra space up to the side here still. But this one. So they both have the same amount of extra space. Well, actually, this one is a little less, but... Pretty much the same. I could make it smaller maybe, just so it matches. I want to match it up a little bit more to the other barn because I, I quite like the, or the other um, stable. I quite like the aesthetic. Uh, let's get some of these windows. I do like that having windows for the horses. So we definitely want to do that. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I measured the height based off where these go. So let me do that for a second. I probably want it about that high. So one there. Actually, we could go a little higher. That, that's maybe a little low. About that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So one there, and then I'm going to get them around the back. All right, so I guess we could probably... Well, actually, where's the gates going to go for these? Let me figure that out. If I have move objects off, can they go here? No. So they kind of need this extra space there, which is fine. And I'll put one there. Okay, so we got those two in. Then we can fit a feeder here and here. I guess we could do a feeder there and maybe a water trough as well. So they can just have it in their little area too, which is nice. Going to make sure there's plenty of like hay and stuff in here too. So it's nice and soft. And cozy. Yeah. All right, so over here, I guess I'm going to get rid of this horse bed, rid of that one. Um, I'm going to get rid of these gates. I guess I could have moved these water troughs over instead of buying new ones. Right, we definitely need like the uh, cats and dogs room, which is just sort of here. The rest of this is pretty much good to go. Uh, I do have to move all these solar panels though, which I guess I have plenty of space in the house. Maybe we could do some there. Like definitely on this section, I feel like looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, if I just stack it on this part of the roof, we should be able to fit Pretty much all of them, I think. Oh my gosh, that's actually the perfect... Oh wait, you gotta be kidding me. It can't go on this spot? Really? <laughs> it was like perfect. I'll just move objects. It'll it'll be fine. Because other than that, it's like perfect. Look at this. It like perfectly fits on that whole section. Amazing. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this and this just so we can also see inside a bit easier. Uh, so I do want to do the same sort of columns and rafters thing. I don't know if it'll look as good in there, but we'll, we'll try and see what we can do. All right, so we need the pet stuff. Uh, how do we want to divide this? Maybe we could do a... I don't want it to feel like super cramped, but like I also don't want to take up a whole bunch of space that we don't need to, because then we can have like a really nice decorative vineyard over here. We're going to move like the chickens and the mini goats and mini sheep over here. So then it's sort of near the cows and the llamas. So that's sort of all in one spot. Okay, so I've completely emptied out this. I've moved everything over to the new barn. I don't think there's really a good way to not make it look like really really cramped but I mean I think it looks all right maybe the wall should be I did the same color as the other the other one but I'm wondering if maybe they should be a different color like maybe the original color we have was more faded but keep the richer color in the uh, the fence and the, the columns maybe that just kind of looks really dull though doesn't it that that's the problem with that one okay let me put it back <laughs> I don't know I think it can still use work anyway we've got all the pet stuff over here like there's a cat corner there we've got the beds and the bowls just over there the toy chest which I guess these balls can kind of Oh wait, does that actually sit there or is that, does that move object? No, they don't sit there. Okay, it looks like they did, but they don't. Uh, all right, 
Then we got our saddles here, which I guess we only, probably only need two now, technically. But anyway. Um, so I think I will do a door here, just for convenience sake. Maybe one of these. That's kind of nice. There you go. So that lets you access the sort of residence area. And then you come into the sort of more barn area. So, you know, I'm going to put a little bit more hay around the place. Because these are basically just rugs, so it just kind of places under and it shouldn't cause any issues. But it adds a little bit more to the space, a little bit more lived in and used. Uh, actually, that's a completely different color, I just realized. <laughs> I probably want this one. I can maybe mix it up a little bit, I guess. Two different colors. Sure, why not? Oh, that's actually a corner piece. <laughs> I just realized. It's okay. Okay, so then that now means this whole building can go. So I'm just gonna delete. All right, so we've basically freed up this entire side of the ranch now. Put that there. Okay. I guess I'll move some more of these probably over this side. So we can have like a uh, water trough there, another feeder, maybe. Sure, I'll just put it there for now. We'll have to rework all that stuff. And then I guess the horse jump should probably be moved around here somewhere. So hang on, let me have a look. So we've got the paragraphs there. Let me move that. We can move the barrels probably to this section. This dumpster I'm actually going to move. I can probably just put it around the side of the barn. That probably makes sense near where the resident sort of area is. I could just come out and dump stuff there. Then that gives enough room for this to sort of sit in here. I feel like that's probably enough space around it. And then we can move the jumps to sort of where that was. And we also, by the way, we have so much manure around this dang ranch. Look at it all. all right, anyway, then these can go here. So, um, I guess it kind of just needs to go in the middle here. It's kind of a walking space, but whatever. Okay, so then that frees up all this space, which now I would like to move the mini goat or the chickens and stuff over here as well. Maybe we can make a more chicken coop looking area. Let me have a look. Get some inspiration. Maybe we could have like a little chicken coop. I guess I should probably put them inside. Does this come in red? It's got to come in red. Really? There's no red? The heck? The heck cottage living? I guess orange is the closest we can get. I have no idea if this is going to work, but this is my plan to sort of like cover it up a little bit. Make it look more chicken coopy. Wait, what? The roof has like disappeared, but the walls are still there. <laughs> <laughs> I guess because I, I kind of used a glitch to put the roof there. So maybe if I just do it this way, hang on. So what if I just move them in? Oh no, you know what? We have to do it. So if you remember back to the beginning of the series, we use this roof trick where you can sort of drag it over. That's what I'm doing here again. Oh, I could just use these from greenhouse. That'd probably look better. I don't match. You know what? That's a good idea. Because I was trying to find a door and I like the greenhouse door, but then I just realized I can just use the greenhouse windows that match exactly. And that'll probably make more sense. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's no reason I can't have it up against the fence now. Uh, it might rotate it. I don't think it needs to face this way. Let me just move this roof for a second so it doesn't get broken in my process. Oh! <laughs> uh, no, hang on. No, no. The ground floor, please. Thank you. No, no, no. What the heck? There's no grid. How are you even going up there? There we go. <laughs> All right, so we just drag this through. You can see how it just like sort of clips through. It's fine. So we do that, okay? So it just sits on top of the half wall. I think we can still access it. I don't know. We'll find out. Then I want to use that same red, at least for the chicken coop bit. There we go. And then the rest of it, I guess I'll just paint white because it's going to be behind. We'll put the windows there. Uh, okay, that roof looks a little weird there, so I guess I'll make it shorter. It's all right. I guess I'll do the same on this side. Yeah, so this window is kind of just... It's just like um, mesh wire, so it doesn't actually have glass in it, which is kind of cool. I have to leave this open because this is the actual item, so they have to have room to get in and out. So that's why it kind of looks more open there. Um, but that's looking pretty good. Kind of wish I could have a little bit of fencing across this section. Because uh, it's weird that this just goes here and stops. I guess there should be like a roof on this too, right? Maybe what I need to do... You know what? I got a better idea. I need to get rid of that roof. There we go. So we have this roof and it goes up towards this section. And then that's like that. And then we just assume the chickens won't fly out. We'll be fine. Look, ideally you'd have a roof on it, but I think this will work. Gonna give this little windows. That's cute. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that. Maybe they can have a prayer grass in here. There you go. All right, well, I guess I can just move these by hand, right? I can just pick them up and put them in here. Oh, wait, that's a... That's my bar too. Let me move all my chickens. <laughs> so much junk in here. I think I got all the chickens. There's, I moved five, but are there, are there others still in here maybe? I'm not sure. Hen seven, roosters one. I don't know if they're in there, but I've got some of them there. Anyway, that's good. So next step is I think this will be part of a larger section, maybe up till, yeah, up to this point where, where we've already got clear, distinct terrain paint. And then maybe this can be where our mini goats and stuff are as well. I'm gonna move that gate over to here. Oh, our well, little gravestones, that's so sad. Well, I'll put them here. Well, I mean, Hugo's still with us, so that's fine. And there's Bobby. We'll have to sort out something better for that in a second. I kind of feel like this fence is, it's very big though, isn't it? For the, these little animals, but whatever, it looks good. So with the coop there, I guess I could build another little shelter like this for the mini goat and sheep. I don't know that 
Will they actually go in it though? I just want them to have like a little shelter, you know? How tall is that? I like the size of it. It's this size. Like if I just do a horse bed under it, I think they use it, right? I think I might have to make this one bigger. At least one wall, regular wall height. Because I wouldn't mind the horses also using it. Like coming in here and hanging out. I don't know if this will work. Like having this just extend out to here and then like having the back built up. I, don't, I have no idea. I would kind of like this to be this metal one because that looks kind of cool. If it works, I'd be very happy with this. Well, let me see. If I turn move objects off, can I put it under here? Ooh. Oh, you know, I think it's just the columns, actually. If I get rid of the columns, does this work then? Yeah, and I think that's fine. All right, well, we'll test it. I like that. So mini goat mini sheep can hang out in there then. And then basically what we're doing is it frees up this entire back section here for the vineyard. I'll move all the non-vineyard plants I guess into this area somewhere, maybe back here. I don't have that many and I don't want that many. Uh, I guess we can make this bigger. I, I didn't need to be this small. Maybe I'll make it a bit wider. It feels a little small now. Whoa, this gate gets so big on the diagonal. I was gonna put it there, but it's huge. <laughs> That's maybe too big. <laughs> From there's no other gate to really fit or look good. So I kind of have to use these gates. All right, that gives them a bit more space. I'm gonna get one of these bins as well. Maybe just here, because we've got one there, maybe one in here somewhere. I should do it over here. One of these bins that I make. There you go. Oh, it's a little short. I thought I made it the fence height. Oh, it's that fence height. Right. There you go, it's made it a bit taller. Cool, that'll sit there. Oh, I guess I should move these horse balls as well, more over this way. Move objects off. I guess I'll just place them in here somewhere. Kind of, I don't know if it's getting a little too busy over here now with all this. Oh, well, I guess actually this is all about to change. We'll have a bit more space soon. I was thinking it was getting too much, but yeah, we're gonna move all that stuff, so it'll be fine. What's this? We've got an apple tree. Do we want that? I don't know if I still want that. All right, what have we actually got? Because this is all our grapes. Now, let me cull down some of these. We, we don't, the thing is we don't need any of this stuff. This is just for funsies. Um, so we've got cherries, pears, pomegranate. I think I have two plantain trees, so. Well, that one's magnificent. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Lemon. We already have an apple tree. That one's magnificent. What's the other one? Nice. All right, I'm gonna get rid of that one because we already have one over here. All right, then, so we'll keep all these trees. Oh, did I craft all these? I guess I did, that's why I can't clone it. Oh yeah, I should get the feeder and stuff over here before I forget because the uh, mini goats and sheep like this as well. So we'll get the horse feeder there. I don't think they need the trough, so I won't worry about that. Um, all right, well, the trees, let's just start moving them. They don't need a whole planter. Let's just put them in. Let's just see what happens. Okay, let's just move them and see. See what it looks like. See how we feel. Do I want plantains? Because this tree is the odd one out. It looks much more tropical. I don't know if it totally fits the vibe. Maybe I should just get rid of the plantains. I don't want them. Because these look really nice. They like sort of lined up against that back fence. Like, I think that's quite nice. Then we can get all the smaller plants just here in front. And that'd actually be really cute. All right, so we've got two trash plants. I'm going to get rid of the worst one. We've got tomato, spinach, strawberry, green bean, basil, bell pepper. Bell pepper, oh, we don't need two bell peppers. I'm gonna get rid of one. Blackberry and potato. Okay, that's good. Okay, I think I might get rid of the orb stalk too. <laughs> it doesn't really fit the vibe. All right, so, I, wait, is that? Oh yeah, carrot. So, okay, I've culled down all these so we have one of each of what we had. Um, and then over here, I guess I'll get rid of some of these chrysanthemums. Orchid will keep, lily's good. Well, we don't need two lilies, so we don't need two snapdragons. All right, so that's all the unique stuff. Now, let's move them over. All right, well, I've got, okay, I've moved everything except this trash plant. I don't really know if I want the trash plant amongst all my, my plants over here, but I guess we'll do it for now. I want to create a couple more planters because I think this is a nice little setup. Trees at the back, and there's some veggie planters here, and then the animals can sort of roam in amongst it all, which I think is quite nice. I guess one thing I could still add if I want is maybe like a little pond, but I don't think we really have that much room for that. Um, with Because I don't... Small ponds usually don't look that good. All right, I'm gonna move this tree though over here, maybe in the cow and llama zone, because then they get a little bit of shelter. All right, then next on the agenda is a, I'll get rid of like, so much horse, but get rid of this section. And basically, this whole back section can open up now, I think. So I'm gonna get rid of all this fencing and I'm gonna replace this back fence with our regular paddock fencing. <laughs> What is with all this manure? I'm gonna put it all in a pile over here, then I'm gonna collect it in live mode, I think. This looks so cool how much space is open up now. Um, I don't think I'm gonna fully make it a vineyard back here, because I think it might be a little too much if I do that. But we'll definitely have like some sort of aesthetic vineyard going on here. Obviously, this is our actual crop. Um, I don't think we need actually any more grapes than that, to be honest, because any more than that, we're gonna be, get, we're already getting so much daily, so I might just get rid of these. All right, I'm gonna just collect up all this stuff around, <laughs> like all this stuff, all the manure, clean up this space a bit, and then let's get working on the actual vineyard. All right, so we're gonna use the debug vines. I'm actually gonna remove this fence, because I feel like we don't need the fence at the back here. So it could actually look really nice just having it sort of end there. We'll have to do another fence. Maybe in front of it? I don't know. Anyway, what what I would like to do, can we have it like a little hilly? 
Like a really gentle rolling hill maybe? Or is this just gonna look bad because they don't really join? Let me just do, a, I gotta do a whole bunch I think and then we can sort of see. Okay, I think this is pretty cool. At the end I just did like a fence post because I kind of just ended so I figured it needed something. And then we've got some little rose bushes down here because my girlfriend Deligracy, she used to work at a vineyard and, and I think she even did some grape stomping at some point. But anyway, they used to have rose bushes at the end, well they still do, at the end of each line because if there's disease, the roses show it first before it gets through all the vines. So then you can sort of, you know, prepare and sort of more quickly isolate and protect the vines. So yeah, what I've done, I kept the front of this more flat because it looked a little strange, but we still have this hill in the middle, which kind of like raises them up a little bit, gives it a bit of different height. So I think that works. And then our actual patch is just over here. I don't know if that looks just kind of weird. <laughs> a random patch of grapes there, but I don't know. Anyway, this does give us a whole bunch of space over here, which I'm quite happy with. I guess I didn't... Uh, maybe I should just do the fence around the back. I, I did get rid of it, but I think, to be honest, it probably looks better having this fence at the back than putting one in front of it. And it means that our horses can use all this space. The spinach has already escaped, so there's that. Um, I guess these horse jumps... Maybe I'll put it back... I'll maybe I'll put it over here, actually, in this now empty spot. Um, all right, so we've also got these graves. Where do we want to do those? I don't really know. I don't really have a nice spot for it. Maybe for now it could just be on this little section, like this little diagonal area, because that's, that's kind of nice. I feel like we need to build a proper spot for it, but for now I'm just going to put them there. And I want to do a little terrain painting, because every time we do these big renovations I kind of just don't do the terrain painting. And then we get all these weird lines of terrain paint where I haven't painted properly. Not today! Well, maybe today. I want to go down these lines a little bit, just in between, because you know, that's kind of where we'd be walking. And then maybe around this section here, in front of that door, in front of the barn, and definitely under this jump, maybe by this gate as well. And all this is already painted nicely, that's good. So a little bit more around the barrels, maybe by that gate there as well. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I think this did... <laughs> I thought this would be a quick little renovation and reshuffle of the ranch. It has taken me an hour and a half so far, but we still have time to actually play the game. So let's do that. Oh, that looks so good. So I entered the lot directly through build mode. This is what it will look like in summer and spring when it's all in season and not so gray. That looks good. I love that. I really love that. It looks so nice. Ooh, that's so cool. I love it. So we still have our nice barn, but we've now got a lot more space around the back, I think as well. We could do some more stuff here. Not like cluttered stuff, but maybe more horse stuff. Maybe we could move the barrels there or something. Or or we could have like, I don't know, maybe another tree or something. Maybe just, maybe another tree for now, just to like sort of use, use the space. I like it. I, I really like this. I think this has all come together really, really well. All right, well, I gotta get spinach back inside. So hang on, I'm gonna go, well, uh, okay, hang on. Spinach, get over here. Flame is in there. I think I've correctly locked all the gates again, but I guess we'll see. I also gotta keep an eye on if all these guys can use the horse bed and eat from this thing and hope that they're all okay still. Hmm, manure, I'll take that, thank you. Did spinach, oh, there's spinach, wait, wait. What? How did you get here? Did you just run through the house? Wait, what? You shouldn't have been able to get out? Oh, no, no. Pfft, no, of course. You ran around because you're outside. <laughs> okay, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. I just need to mount up and then, ooh, we got $1,100 from investing. So every time we have money, more money on it. Oh, no, that looks so bad. Dang it. I got to fix that. Also, I just realized there's no ceiling there. Okay. We're finding out. We're finding all the bugs. It's all right. It's all right. Let's just ride through this gate here. Looks like Agnes is enjoying the new paddocks. So I like to see it. The chickens are in the coop, so that is working, which I'm very happy about. I haven't, I gotta I got test if I can clean and all that stuff. Make sure that works. All right, so we are now in there. We'll jump off that. I'm gonna go to the toilet. Oh, that's okay, actually. You only see these when you go up a level, so that's actually not too bad. You don't see them on the ground floor. I don't mind that. <laughs> Bluey's hanging out with the chickens. That's nice. Yeah, I like this. I like this. So, all right, we got another week. It is Saturday. We got another week until the next Ultimate Horse Championship. So... In that week, we need to train up Bluey uh, to the top of every skill, which we're not far off. So if I go Bluey, sh open profile, level... <laughs> like I like how I'm like in the exact right spot just to block the skills. So as you can see, the skill level's right here. So yeah, we're level nine on both of these. Pretty close on endurance, not too far on jumping. So we're just gonna do a little bit more training, which should be good. I'm just gonna go here real quick. I'm gonna call... Um, Bluey and Spinach over. So wait, no, no, get out here. What are you doing? So I'm going to ask them to play with these. Ask Bluey to play with that. Ask Spinach because I think their fun is low on both of them. 
Because I think the horse balls had glitched out at some point, so I bought new ones, so this should work. And whilst that's happening, I'm gonna fix these. There you go, they're having fun. And do I have leftovers? I do. All right, I'm gonna go grab something to eat. Oh, look at that vineyard, isn't that beautiful? Work of art. It was all worth it. I do like the more open space back here. It was kind of was kind of really feeling cramped in, and we still have all the animal stuff going on over here, which is cool. Oh, and if, if you have any suggestions, of course, let me know as well, because I just kind of did this as just the plan I had and I wanted to try. Oh, good, you're using... Oh, yes, you're eating out of there. That's good. So that's spinach is better. I guess we could even lock... Wait, can I lock for specific horses? Oh, I can. So I could lock for everyone that only allow, like, spinach in there, for example. Well, and obviously employees, but in terms of horses. So I could do that, but we'll just leave it. I think it's fine. I don't think we need to do that. All right, what I would... No, don't mourn the pets. Can you go over here to the chicken coop? Because I just want to see if I can use that properly. Oh wait, is Cecilia? Oh wait, yeah. Okay, that totally works. Great. And can I like, oh, I wish I could like clean that or something. I just want to make sure I can like, they can use that. I guess we'll see. Um, all right, well, let's go train Louie. Yeah, Bluey's in a good mood. Let's go into town to the tiny home do some training. And maybe we should go on a date with Arjun today. Actually, a lot of you guys really liked Wolf Bane that we randomly happened across last episode. And people were like, can I change my vote to Wolf Bane instead? Look, if we see Wolf Bane again, maybe we'll uh, talk to him. All right, well, let's... Uh, well, okay, well, I'm really sad too, which is probably not gonna help me. Okay, I didn't want to mount, but that's... Well, we'll hop on, that's fine. Well, now I feel confident actually, so that's good. And right, encourage training. All right, so let's do a little bit of... Oh, okay, I guess I got off. <laughs> Dang it. Intense training on the jumps. Cause yeah, we, pff, we've only got a whole week. I guess I really just gotta hope that we complete that ultimate horse championship. Yeah, I guess I'll keep an eye out for Wolfbane. Natalia, fancy some security, the road. Okay, well, I mean, may as well go. Wait, is Bluey gonna come with me? I mean, I She's asking me to the romance festival. We might as well go. And look, if something happens, something happens. I think we know now with Cecilia, that's not gonna work out. That was really awkward what happened there. Oh, hey, Bluey. Um, yeah, I might send Bluey home. <laughs> uh, send home. Oh, vampire. Hey, Koji. What's up, uncle? I should probably say hi. Be a little awkward if I don't. Affection, hug. Are you going home, Bluey? I'm just gonna hang out here. Hey, charisma level two. There you go. All right. Hey, Natalia. I probably should say hi. Okay, Koji. Oh, okay. Mirai. You've heard what a great person I am. You want me to donate? I'm good. Okay, Bluey. I need you. Okay, this is... <laughs> This is annoying. Are you bluey? How do I? Let's go home. Horse care? Send home. Okay, Natalia? N Natalia, leave my horse alone. Look, just don't, please. Send home. Okay, I think you're going home. Mention flirty festival vibe. Let's do that. Who else is here? Is Wolfbane here? I should probably just do a quick check. That is not Wolfbane. That is not Wolfbane. Wolfbane? I feel like you guys only liked him because of his name, and I'm going to agree with you on that. Ooh, we could... Oh, hello. <laughs> Can, wait, can I take that? I can see the flowers. So, ooh, actually those are perfect quality roses. You know what? I'm gonna grab those roses real quick. Those are actually be very good. What's this one? Dragon fruit? Do we have dragon fruit? I don't know. I'm gonna grab it. What else? Ro more roses. I think we have chrysanthemum. We have snapdragon. Do we have, what's this? Tul I don't think we have tulips. I'll grab those. Oh wait. Oh, it's not grown. It's in different season. All right, never mind. Don't mind if I do. Sweet. All right, well, I guess my task is to drink tea. So let me pour some tea together. Because you did ask me. Look, she did not ask me on a date. Let's just, I just want to get that clear. If Natalia wants to flirt with me, it's going to happen. You know, we'll, we'll do it, but it's not my job. You know, Bluey, what the heck, man? Go home. Why are you still here? <laughs> How do I get you to go home? Send home. Yeah, sorry, Natalia. Look, my horse, I just got to deal with my horse. He's not going home. I think he's kind of lost because I brought him to the sea. I brought him to... <laughs> How did I even get my horse here? It's like, that doesn't even make any sense. I guess we came up an elevator somewhere. Maybe, like, that. maybe that's actually the problem. Maybe you can't go home. Okay, I did, I keep saying send home, but it's not going home. So, all right, Natalia, do you want to, yeah, look, I'll help because you're not doing anything. Affection, throw pedal. Look, we'll do the festival stuff. Yeah, look, pedals. Also, we both have the tea and neither of us are flirty from the tea, so it kind of been that good. It really means a lot to me that you make time for me. Just wanted to let you know. Well, that's actually nice. That is nice. Describe flirty dream about Natalia. No, no, Natalia can describe that to me if she wants. Oh God, that guy's falling over. Are you right? Herb Hubbard. He's, are you coming to talk to me? I think so. I don't want to talk to this flirty dude right now. Unless it's Wolf Bane, I don't want to hear about it. No, leave me alone, dude. Oh, Cherry, what's up? Uh, you want to answer? Sure. Sorry, I'm just going to take this call. Sorry, Herb. Uh, yeah, i got a call coming in, so I, I can't talk right now. Thanks. Phew. Thanks, Cherry. You saved me. Oh, there's Doug Douglas. <laughs> yeah, I think it was one of the recent Sims we added to my game. Oh, hey, Quinn. What's up? Um, all right, well, I guess... Wait, is, okay, Bluey is still here. I think we need to leave, because I am very tired. Bluey is also not going home. There's an alien. Hey, Gloria McGlobin. 
<laughs> Sorry, that's the funniest name ever. I think, again, this is one of the things I added to my game. But Gloria McGlobin? <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. All right, let's go home. It's, oh, okay. I'm out. Sorry, Natalia. I'm out. Look, we had a good time. That was nice. Thank you for inviting me. But I like Gloria McGlobin more. <laughs> Alrighty, Bluey. Let me just mount up and we'll just ride through the gate so we can get you back in here. Alrighty, cool. Alright, I guess I'll jump in bed. Oh, look at spinach just going around and around. Oh, you're knocked it over. Alright, so these guys are all... Oh, actually, one of the... Okay, so first of all, that's good news. The uh, horse bed works even with the, <laughs> the slightly lower roof. That's good. I'm actually really glad that works. So I guess these guys could use it, but they're just not. Oh no, Bramble, Basil, and Flapjack have all been adopted. Which I guess means that the sim that we gave our horses to has died. And then they've been moved on to another household. Interesting. The Okamoto household. Um, you guys know you got a stable, right? Do you, do you guys know that? I, I built... You, you still got a whole, like, whole area here. I know this area... Maybe they can't... I did put columns kind of weirdly around it. I don't know if it works. I might actually say... Who's this Bluey? Ask horse to come here. I just want to make sure they can get into it. Oh, hey, Quinn. So I can get in there as a sim. Let's just say Bluey can get in there. Yeah, okay, that works. Okay, and spinach with it. Good, I just want to make sure those, those actually worked and I didn't mess it up. Hey, Quinn. Brown hen is getting on. Brown hen is getting on. Black hen is getting on. White hen is getting on. Oh, God. oh my chicken's just about to die. I just built you a brand new coop. <laughs> I've been such a nice new coop and you're all about to die. Now, rose. I, don't, I guess I don't have any roses to it. I guess I'll... We only need one. I'll plant one there. So did I have dragon fruit in the end? I don't think I do. I do need another planter. I will plant a dragon fruit. And that's it. I'm not even really sure why Queen is here. She just kind of is. Now she's talking to my plants. It's like two in the morning. <laughs> Wait, is Agnes and Cecilia here? Are they upstairs? Oh, they are. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> should really auto light all of this. They're like, oh God, I can't, I can't sleep. And it'll also save me money on my bills. So I should probably do that. Let me know. And down here in the barn too. All right, so I'm gonna take a shower, I'll get something to eat. Oh, you know what? We should get, let's get some Home Chef Hustle stuff up in this place. Let's get a waffle maker. There you go, it's kind of hard to see because it's really dark. All right, cook. Oh yes, look at all this. All right, let's make some, oh, pumpkin spice waffles. Let's go. Tis the season after, well, not in game. Oh wait, no, I guess it is. I'm thinking pumpkin spice. It's kind of, okay, it's kind of weird. So first of all, pumpkin spice is not really a thing here. Except, oh, what is, what, I have my fence there. Um, but the places that do have pumpkin spice still do it in springtime here, which it is currently springtime, because obviously our spring is October. So even though it's getting hotter, anyway, whatever. But it, this is opposite because it's Sims. So I guess, wait, did you make that or not? What happened? Oh, I'm just waiting. Okay, well, do you want to clean that up? I thought that just kind of sort of stand there, but I guess it's a little timer so you can do multiple things. That's kind of cool. I haven't really played with that the new appliances at all, but I guess that makes sense. So you could do like multiple things at once. There we go. All right, collect waffles. Oh, pumpkin spice waffles. All right, okay, wait, where'd you put it? Can you put it, here we go. Grab a serving. Let's go. Oh, you're just gonna eat it with your hand? Okay. Looks like it has like ice cream and stuff on top of it. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know about picking that up with your hand, but sure. Anyway, that looks good. Enjoy. All right, how are you guys going? Good mood? You're both in a good mood, fantastic. Well, what I'd like to do is first of all, how are you guys going over here? Pretty good, pretty good. I wanna go plant this, my rose and my dragon fruit. Uh, where did that go? Oh, there it is. Did I, okay, I think I just sneezed on it, but that'll do What are you guys doing back here? Why, why are you all there? You trying to get to chicken feed or something? I'm not, I'm actually not, no, are you just saying no feed? Yeah, hang on, let me um scatter feed nearby. Let me try that. Okay, they're moving now. I think they just didn't have any feed at all. Let me do a little bit more. Oh my gosh, look how many animals are in this tiny coop. Uh, it might actually be, to be honest, beneficial to lock mini goat, mini sheep and horses out of the chicken coop. Just because it is so small. <laughs> all right, anyway, let's go take Bluey back to what I was trying to do, which was train a little bit. We're so close to actually getting level 10. I just want to do it. I just want to do it to get it out of the way because then we can just wait till next week and then we can do the, the uh, Horse Championship. Oh, swing by the equestrian center. No, I'm good. All right, courage training. Come on, Bluey. You got to make your mama proud. And by mama, I mean Flame. Flame would be so proud of you to know that how far you've come and you're nearly going to at least place at the Ultimate Horse Championship. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> no guarantees, but maybe. All right, let's intensely train on the jumps. Hopefully we don't get any date invites again. Oh, we got an adoption notice. Christopher Schneider was adopted by the Hyde household. Okay. <laughs> Agnes is inviting me to the flea market. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I, I kind of forget that with Agnes, we do have like full romantic relationship. And I think she is, is she's my girlfriend, right? <laughs> yeah, she, she is my girlfriend too. I kind of forgot that that's kind of going on in the background, but Agnes doesn't actually let us do anything. All right, we'll take a break from jumping. We're gonna go for a ride. Hopefully build up some of the endurance skill because that is very nearly done as well. Hey, 
level 10. Congratulations, horse experts near and far agree that Bluey has reached the peak endurance. Few horses have this physique, or have his physique, nor are they quite so good at pacing themselves. And we unlocked the little sign, but we are now level 10 endurance, which is awesome. So, wait, what's your, what's your mood like? Actually, still pretty good. Which I guess it's probably due to level 10 endurance. Let's do some more jumping. <gasps> Bramble! Bramble Big Wallet is here. Hey, get off my horse! That's my Bramble! Who the heck are you, Daniel Augustine? Hey, wait a second! Didn't we just build your house? Wait, did you get adopted? Wait, hang on, hold up, hold up. Did the family I just renovated a house for the other day adopt my horses? Because that changes everything if that's true. Oh my god, they do! Well, they've got Bramble. I don't know where did, um... So who's got... So yeah, <laughs> Bramble's gone to them, which is great, because they had... Their house is already full, so we're gonna have to go back to their house and update it. So wait, Basil... Oh, but Basil was the uh, Okamoto household. And then Bramble went to the Augustine household. Right, okay. And Flap, oh, okay, so, okay, that's what happened. Flapjack and, and Bramble both went to the same household. No, and uh, Basil, sorry. But Bramble went to the Augustine. <gasps> the Bane household, that's where Wolf Bane is from. All right, we know where Wolf Bane lives. <laughs> I'm just trying to find where the Okamoto household is. I'm not sure if it's a fa family I added that you guys created or if it's a random one. Oh gosh, it's this household where they live in a one bedroom apartment. <laughs> And they have two horses. The Okamoto household living here in, in Evergreen Harbor. Amazing. Two horses in the apartment. Okay, so that's not good. Well, anyway, that was a funny little detour. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. I suppose, yeah, like I said, we'll have to, <laughs> we'll have to go back to that house and renovate it to allow for a horse now, so. All right, Bluey, I'm gonna need you to work together with me here. It's gonna get to level 10 jumping and then we'll have everything level 10. Uh, Bluey. Oh, hunger is low. Okay, I'll hand feed. I got this. Hunger good. And... That's okay, for being level 9, nearly level 10, you're knocking these jumps over a lot. I'm just saying, dude. Oh, you're feeling tense? Maybe I need to reassure you. And then maybe also encourage training. Okay, now you're just sad, so that's good. <laughs> okay, you're still sad. Uh, cheer up. Cheer up, kiddo. Reginald! Uh, one of my friends said how great you are. Can I give them your number? Okay, sure. Okay, now you're confident. Let's go. Let's get to level 10, baby! Logan? Is that really? This is who you gave my number to, Reginald? Oh wait, no, I don't think so. This is just random. Uh, no, leave me alone. I thought <laughs> you could give my number to Wolf Bane. I'd accept that. It's okay. It's okay, Bluey. You you hit the, the thing, but you're still doing good, okay? Oh, come on. Just do like one more. Look how close it is. <laughs> my needs are terrible. I think Bluey's needs are not great either. Come on, last one, last one. Level 10. That's level 10, surely. Really? Okay, last, this is the last one. Last one, here we go, level 10. Yeah! And there it is! <laughs> we did get it, okay. Level 10, horse experts around would all agree that Bluey is a world-class jumping machine. Few horses are quite so good at using horse jumps. Alrighty, all right, let's go home because both our needs are terrible. And then maybe we can go find Arjun, go for a date, and then maybe we should go for a date with uh, Wolf Bane. Not that we met Wolf Bane, but I know where he lives. <laughs> Alright, let me just ride Bluey back over here. Alrighty, and then I'll go to the toilet. Hey Agnes. Alright, get some leftovers. What am I eating tonight? I've got uh, Black and Bath. Okay, I was a little concerned that I might just grab out the waffles, but I guess that's good. Then after that I'm gonna go take a shower. <laughs> How are my death flowers going? I should probably- we need to do some more nectar making as well, obviously. Um, grapes. Oh, I gotta harvest those actually. Let me take a shower real quick. Actually, the good news is now I can just click harvest all instead of clicking one by one. Because I don't think these are close enough to click, to like harvest all. Which is good. So I think I'll just grab all of these and leave these ones. Did I get them all? I think so. Cool. All right, then I can go to bed, which I think I'm already doing. Yep. Excellent. Look at this. Look at this bluey hanging out with, oh, flame. Hang on, I gotta go say, oh, invite to household. You guys kind of voted against adding another ghost to the household because we already got Hugo. I guess we'll just go say hi. Scratch neck. Oh, this is kind of sad. Oh, can I, oh, I can ride a ghost horse? Oh, heck yes, we're gonna do that. Okay, I don't care about my chickens, whatever. Flame. Flame! Oh, look, it's so she's so beautiful with her little crown, like her flower crown still. Oh, energy low and fun is low. Well, why don't we go for one last ghost ride? I'm not quite sure the physics of getting on a ghost, but I guess if it works, it works. You know, who am I, who am I to complain? Yeah! Alrighty! Alright, let, oh, you don't like that? Uh, cheer up. Well, if we go for a ride, they usually like it, so there we go. Oh my gosh, that's actually so cool. They have like a custom animation for the ghost, they just float. That is cool.
That's amazing. Well, we could still try to do the um the horse ambrosia thing. So apparently we have to make regular ambrosia and then turn it into horse ambrosia, which I suppose we could do. We're just gonna have to catch an angelfish. And what else do you need? You need the death flower, obviously. Is that all? Oh, there's something else. I'm like level 10 gourmet or something cooking. What what skill level am I? Level oh, I'm level one gourmet. Okay, well, <laughs> this is kind of funny. Hmm, it's quite relaxing, isn't it? Nice and gentle. Your energy is poor, but you are a ghost, so I don't really know how that works. But I guess ghosts have to sleep too, man. Uh, well, we can go back. Hang on. That is so cool that they float though. What does it look like when we run? I say canter here. I gotta, I gotta see that. No, 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 no. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I just want to see what the running animation looks like in ghost form. All right, turning around and we. That would be the smoothest horse ride ever. Dang. Wee! <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. That is so cool. I love that. All right. All right. Well, it's lovely to see you, Flame. As long as I guess we have your little uh, your little headstone here, you should be with us. I guess I can... Um, do I have to like... Oh, I do have to strengthen. I guess I'll remember. I'll do that in the morning. I haven't seen Bobby. Or I guess if we see Bobby, I mean, I'll also strengthen. Obviously, we don't need to worry about Hugo because Hugo's in the household. Anyway, I'll have a little sleep. You guys can hang out with Flame if you want. <gasps> there you go. Oh, oh, and she's going to sleep. <laughs> that's that's cute. Flame is sleeping next to Bluey and Spinach. And then Bluey's like, whatevs, I'm gonna go play with this ball. <laughs> They're like, whatevs. Okay, this really needs to be cleaned over here. Uh, Mocha Mini she was thinking of leaving soon. Really, dude? Oh gosh, you're, well, you're like laying on top of the food, so that's not my fault. But a mini go dirty. All these guys are dirty and unhappy. I guess because they keep traveling, so maybe they're not really having an opportunity to get to work. Are you guys going to wake up? What's going on here? Okay, they're both up. I guess they get, do they get up at the same time I do? Is that how that works? All right, well, I'm going to go strengthen the physical connection of Flame and also Bobby, just to make sure we got those going on. Um, all right, I'm going to go to care, clean all dirty mini sheep. Let's do that. This little coop is such a mess. Why is there a pile of trash in there? There you go, I got rid of it. All right, so clean that one. Who's, who's next? Anyone? The, the mocha mini sheep, you. I need to clean you. There you go. Spotted mini goat, which is you. No, wait, it's a different one. Cut that all, because they're all dirty and disgusting. That's the problem. <laughs> so I got to go through and clean them all. That's the spotted one. Yeah, spotted one there. It's okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold up. Yeah, look, my ranch hands have been slacking. Like, even this is disgusting over here. All right, I think I got all of them now. Let me go clean that shed. I got to do some cleanup work. All right, let me, hey! They said they fixed this. Well, I think that's the second time that they had a game update where they said they fixed it, but I guess not. Anyway, evolve all. And are you gonna, oh yeah, Agnes is doing that. Agnes is in the wrong clothes for some reason, but whatever. Yeah, I should probably collect all this stuff off the ground too. All right, let's, um, let me just grab this. I'm gonna call Arjun. How do I do a date again? How, how do you do a date? Ask on, oh, I guess I can't ask you on a date. I can just, I'll send an energized text maybe, cause sometimes that triggers them to ask me out or something. Here we go. Go to the gym. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the gym with Arjun and see what happens, see if anything, any sparks fly. We, with Arjun, we will do a little flirting because that's what you guys voted. Um, you know, if he doesn't reciprocate, he doesn't reciprocate, okay? Really, uh, this is the gym you took us to? What the heck, dude? All right, should you at least be like in my group? Should we, uh, what do you want to do together? That, you can't really work out together in this game. So this is not a great place to hang out. Energize work out together. Let's just go do that then, whatever. Oh, you're going to do push-ups? Okay, well you do push-ups. I'll work out here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the weather here is hard. Oh god, Alda just got <laughs> struck by lightning. You okay, Alda? Hey man. <laughs> this is, th Arjun, this is possibly the worst place you could have brought us. Like, what the heck? You're dripping wet too. Hey, Alda. All right, well, let me, let me, let's do some, at least a little bit of flirting. Oh, he's uncomfortable now. So this is, this is like the worst. Okay, well, I'm feeling confident. This guy's uncomfortable. Okay, there's like 50 people standing here too. What are you doing? Get out of my way. Sydney, Sydney, J Jernigan, move. I'm trying to flirt at the gym, okay? It's a totally normal thing to do. And also, you need to go take care of yourself. You got struck by lightning. Okay, I'm gonna stop working out now. Get up, get up there. Oh, okay. Now you're doing a workout, okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll fire them. Okay. Hey, man. What's up, Keanu? Okay. I, I just want to talk to Arjun here. Hey, man. Looking good. So, you like, uh, you like horses? You like the ranch life? Yeah? You like it? Okay. Let me talk about my champion horse. See how much you like the ranch, okay? Grass have science, baby? Okay, man, that's a little too far. All right, we've got a little bit of floating on here. I just, this is not a good date. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> he brought me to a really bad location. All right, you know, a little bit of float. You know, let's get at least a little bit of stuff flowing between them. You know? Okay, this, what are you doing here? Stop talking to me. No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to Arjun. Pick up line. Let me try pick up line. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Are you gonna, oh, I'm feeling floating now. Okay. And he didn't really seem to respond to that. Oh no. That 
Okay, that was a positive. Okay, that was a positive. Let me talk about my champion horse again. I like horses, that's like my thing. So I'm gonna talk about that a lot. And if you don't like that, that's gonna be a problem, buddy. Uh, hobbies, here we go. Can I, oh, whoops, I took, uh, no, 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 what are you doing? Stop watching, it's weird. Get out of my conversation. Why, they really just need to add a, like a, uh, an X here where you can just like kick them out. Go away, I'm talking to Arjun. Hey, I'll do a sexy pose. Oh, Arjun, oh, Arjun. How do you like me and my baggy sweater and sweatpants? Hello, who's calling me? Brandon, what do you want? Job offer? I'm good. Okay, I, I don't know, I'm just gonna- Oh, Arjun. Mm, he did like that though. Okay. Oh God, did you get struck again or was that someone else? <laughs> God, I thought that came inside and I think he's just still like sparking. Okay, apparently I'm not talking to you anymore, so. <laughs> I think my next stop, our, our actual hangout is over now, you can see. Did someone just get, I'm seeing a lot of lightning everywhere. Let's go see if Wolfbane is home. Look, I'm gonna be honest, that didn't really go that well. To be fair, that was not a date. That was just me. I literally sent an energized text. So an energized activity is obviously hanging out at the gym. So that's what the game did because of what I did. So it really was kind of my fault. All right, let's go visit the Bane household. Just so we can get to know Wolfbane. There, I don't know if Wolfbane is single. I don't know if the other sim living here is their partner. I don't know nothing about Wolfbane. So we got, we got to investigate. Oh, you came with me? This is a little awkward. Um, ooh, you know what? Let's see how he reacts. Flirt? No, I don't know anything about you. I us do a normal introduction. So who are you? You're Gunner Bane. I don't know if you guys are partners or related or what. Let's find out. Oh my gosh, a relationship. We have so many like boost traits. I, I always forget. Like when we meet people, like <laughs> all these like come in together and just give us a huge boost. All right, let's go romance. Um, no, no, flirtation. Okay, ask about, well, ask if single first of all, it's probably important. If you're not, off the menu. That's that. So, are you seeing anyone? What are you doing over there? Why are you standing in the street like talking to yourself? Oh. Okay. Ooh, this is giving me, Arjun, you're giving me the ick right now. Standing in the street singing really badly. Also, I don't know if you get us caught that though. Wolfbane is single. Okay. Romance. Romantic interest. So you're single. You do you like do you like me? Are you interested in me? Maybe a little bit? I'm still exploring. That works for me. Let's go! Kiss hands! <laughs> okay, this might be a bit much. <laughs> oh, Wolf Bane. Oh, you actually like that. Okay, I'm actually surprised by that. Gush about partner. I, oh, I kind of forget that I'm actually not single. <laughs> I am actually with Agnes. I, I do forget about that. I know I remembered it earlier too, but I already forgot about that. Give romantic gift. I think I still have a rose on me. Wait, you know what? I'm going to give you a rose. It, where's Arjun? Where, where'd my ick guy go? Wait, where did he go? Did he just leave? I think he left. Oh, I'll give you this rose. Here you go. Enjoy. Oh, is that nice? You like that? Arjun. Oh, focus camera. No, he's still here. He's over here talking to this person. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna also give, oh, he gave me one back. Oh, wait, so who are you then? Are you like, I guess family? Wolf gave lady a gift along with a thoughtful mes message. Every day we share together, we're creating our own fairy tale. I look forward to our happy, happily ever after. Now, that is kind of creepy. I did just meet you on the street. So maybe coming a little too strong. All right, let me go over to Arjun. I'm gonna give you a rose as well and see how you react. This is like uh, the Bachelorette right now. I'm handing out roses. Maybe we should give Natalia one for good luck too. Although, I f well, she did invite me to the romance festival, so we should give her a chance. Let me, inv can I invite her over here? Oh wait, she's here. Wait, did I give it to you? What happened? I wasn't watching. Okay, Natalia is actually here. Oh wait, wait, are you Natalia? Wait, you're Natalia. The heck, you're literally here. Okay, this this couldn't be better. All right, we're also gonna say, <laughs> flirtate, no, 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 affection. Romantic gift. I'm gonna give you a flower too. All right, this is a real, this is a whole season of Bachelorette right now. All right, so are you gonna give me one back? Arjun gave a thoughtful gift along with the expression. Okay, this is Arjun's message. Here we go. He said, I will always be here for you each and every day. My love for you will continue to grow forever. Okay, that's quite nice. Uh, excuse me, watch out. Ah! All right, Natalia, lovely to see you again. I got this rose for you. I, you have been chosen. Would you like to join the Big Wallet family legacy? I did, I'm gonna be honest, she didn't give me one back. I'm a little concerned by that. Oh God, really? Cherry, you're like a sister to me. What the heck are you doing? What is this? <sighs> Natalia, where's my rose? The heck? Let me try it. Let me just try again, just, just in case. Uh, Natalia, I don't know if you misheard me, but this is a romantic gift. Yes, I expect one back. This is where you give me one and then I'm happy too. Oh wait, what's happening? Nope, okay. Oh wait, what's this? Our strong, fr oh, we should live together. I am gonna wait for the comments on this one. What we could do, we could get Arjun, Natalia and uh, Wolf to move in as roommates, give them rooms and then see what happens on the ramp. What are you doing, Jerry? 
Can you put clothes on? I'm just a little concerned. You are not giving me anything back. Like, what the heck? All right, well, let me go home. It's, I feel like I feel like we've we've laid some good groundwork there. The bachelorette roses are being handed out. Oh god, six thousand dollar bills. Let me just pay those before the end of the episode. Okay, good thing we have plenty of money. Oh right. hey, when did this get burnt? This probably got zapped by lightning at some point. Let me place that. There we go. Well, thank you so much to my top level members for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And of course, thank you to all my members for supporting the channel as well. A lot of the sims that we've been meeting and talking to have been created by you members out there. And first of all, some of them are hilarious. The names are great. And it's just so exciting to see all these different varied sims again in the game. So thank you. Also, I'm really happy with how this whole reorganization turned out. So hopefully you guys like this too. Um, now, let me know in the comments down below. Natalia, Arjun, Wolfbane. Should we have them move in as roommates, hang out on the ranch, get to know them more, and go from there? Or actually, you know what? Maybe not roommates. Maybe a stayover guests. That might be an easier way to do it. Although I don't think we can have multiple stayovers at the same time. Maybe roommates would actually be better. But that could be really fun because then we can like do a little round of bachelorette and see who wins. Who gets the final rose? Though Natalia falling behind. She did invite me to the romance festival, which is obviously huge, but then she didn't give me a rose back. So I'm a little conflicted. Arjun did give me the ick by terrible singing in the street and Wolfbane, oh, he's perfect in every single way so far. Although it did come on a little strong with that message. But until next time, thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day.